Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to set up Firebase so we can send and retrieve data from, uh, from database in Android Studio. So if we go into Android Studio, so we go into Tools and then click on Firebase. Next, we click on Real-Time Database and click on Save Retrieve Data. If we follow the steps here, notice that the first step is to connect to Firebase. So let's go back into the browser and uh, head over to firebase.google.com and then click on Get Started. It will ask you to log in with your user profile, then click Get Started. And this is going to take you to the console. Here, uh, we need to create a project. So I'm going to click on Add Project. I'm going to uh, give my project name. I'm going to call it um, user registration and I'm going to click continue. Um, this is a test application so I'm going to disable enable Google Analytics analytics for this project. Click create project. All right so next we click continue and we arrive uh, here at the console for the project. Um, I'm going to click on database and I'm going to click on create database. This is a um, for testing purposes. So I'm going to click start in test mode. In this mode, notice that you get a warning here. Anyone with your uh, database reference will be able to read and write to your database for 30 days. I'm going to click next. And then I'm going to click done. All right, so notice that the user registration database was created. Uh, next, I'm going to go into settings and then click on project settings. Here, I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and I'm going to click Android logo. Here, uh, I'm going to configure uh, my Firebase database to uh, be able to communicate with my Android application. So I need to get my app package name. Uh, so I'm going to go back into Android Studio. And my app package name is uh, org.techgeorge.loginapp. So I'm going to type it here. Then I'm going to enter an app name, user registration. And finally, I need to obtain a CHA certificate. So going back into Android Studio, I'm, I'm going to click on the uh, Gradle section here. And I'm going to expand um, this section. And I'm going to expand underneath uh, Task Android. And I'm looking for a sign up, sign in report. And I'm going to double click on it. And this is going to generate the key for us. So I'm going to copy this key, which is SHA1. Going back into Firebase, and I'm going to copy here, Control V. And I don't need this section here. And I'm going to click Register App. Uh, next, I want to download the JSON, the Google service JSON file. So I'm going to click on the link. All right, so after downloading the file, we need to go back into Android Studio. And um, here it says Android, we are going to select project. Let me minimize this. And uh, here, I'm going to expand the app section. And I want to copy my uh, Google service JSON file inside the app directory. So I'm going to right click on it and click paste, click OK. Going back into the browser, I am going to click Next. Uh, next, we need to add some uh, dependency into our uh, Gradle file. So these are dependency for the project level uh, Gradle. And uh, here we need to add this dependency. So I'm going to copy it from here. Going back into Android, click on Build Gradle. 
then control V, always sync. Next, we need to add dependency for the app level Gradle. So I'm going to copy the apply plugin section, going back into Android Studio. This time I'm going to open the uh, Gradle, uh, the app level. And right outside the dependency section at the end, I'm going to paste that and click sync now. All right, so I'm going to click next and continue to console. At this point, uh, we should be able to connect from Android Studio. Clicking on tools, Firebase, real-time database. And notice now that I have a connected uh, check mark here. So we're moving to the second step, which is add the real-time database to your app. So I'm going to click on that. So I'm going to click apply changes. And notice that Firebase database uh, was added into the Gradle. Now we have the second step finished. All right, so at this point, we're moving into step number three, which is configure Firebase rules, database rules. And uh, let's head over to our Firebase database and um, uh, let's click on rules. So make sure you have real time database selected and then click on rules. Notice here that uh, read and write are set to false and uh, we're temporarily going to set up this to true. Okay, so let's go ahead and click publish. Let's go back into Android Studio and let's copy. Uh, the code in step number four, which is write to your database. I'm going to highlight Control C to copy it. And I'm going to head into main activity. And then at the end of the uh, references inside the onCreate method, I'm going to copy it. And notice that we are uh, in the first line, we are creating a reference to the database, the root level. Uh, we're creating a reference to the root level of, of our database. And then in the next step, we are creating a reference to uh, a child element, which is message. If the uh, child element is not, it has not been created, it's going to create it for us. And then it's going to set its value to hello world. So let's go ahead and run the app. And we should be able to see uh, messages, hello world. All right. So we have successfully configured uh, Firebase database with Android Studio. And that's it for this video. Uh, as always, remember to subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, see you in the next video.